goodness and mercy upon us, God. We just appreciate all that you have provided, God. We acknowledge that you are the source of our strength and that you are the strength of our life and you are deserving of total praise. God, we praise your name today, God. We give you glory today. We exalt you, God, because you are worthy. You're worthy of all the praise. Oh, God, you are great and greatly to be praised. Oh, God, we just want to say thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for everything that you do for us, God. Thank you for everything you've done for us, God. Oh, God, we thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, God, we just say thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you for food on our table, God. Thank you for clothes on our back. God, we thank you, God, for keeping us in these dangerous streets, God. We thank you for healing our bodies, God. Thank you. Your hands up and give God thanks and praise. Hallelujah. Oh God, we thank you. We thank you, God, for how you made a way for our elder Alan, God. We thank you for how you made a way for our sister Judy, God. We thank you. Hallelujah. We thank you, God. We thank you. Oh God, we ask God that you would have your way, God. 
as we open our hearts and our ears and our minds, God, to receive from you today, God. Fill our cups today, God. Fill our cups with your word, God. Fill our cups, oh God, with reminders of your promises, God. But stand sure and amen, God. Oh God, here we are right now, God. Have your way today, God. Work out in us both the will to do your good pleasure, God. Help us, God, in the name of Jesus. Those that are sick among us, heal today, God. Those that are lost, God, save today, God. Bring them in today, God. Those that are on the street corners, God. Oh, God, touch their hearts right now, God. Oh, God, save, heal, deliver, and set free, even today, God. We ask that you would anoint our pastor afresh, God, with a fresh word, God. Empower him with your anointing in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, the musicians, God, and even the singers, God, that all bring us to your presence in the name of Jesus. Let your presence fill this place, God. Let your glory fill this place in the name of Jesus. And have your way, God. And we surrender to your spirit. And it's in the master's name of Jesus we pray. Thank you, God. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of the sinner, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law do he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring forth his fruit in his season. His leaf shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor the sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. But blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. God bless you. Praise the Lord, saints. How many know our God is big on today? Come on, how many serve a big God? Come on, somebody.
worship session on today. You can come and join us. Join us here at 4700 West Polk. You can join us physically. You can join us out there in virtual land. You can also join and show, hey, it's all about rescuing the perishing. There's three ways that you can give to the ministry. You can cash up at dollar sign NMT150. You can zell us at new underscore mission at att.net. You can also go, also give it old school. Just mail that check to New Mission Temple Church of God in Christ, 4700 West Polk, here in Chicago, Illinois, 60644. We'd love to hear from you. I dare you, saints of God, if you believe it without a shadow of a doubt that you got the victory, I dare you to holler it right where you are and say, I got it. All right. Amen. Amen. If you've been, I just challenge all of you all to know that without a shadow of a doubt, God is yet in control. Amen, somebody. No matter all of the calamity, the death, the church, the tumultuous weather that we're seeing all over the land, all of the killings that are taking place, the sickness that's taking place. If you read your word, you know it's supposed to happen. Amen, somebody. And it's also a sign of us that believed and know that he is to return soon. Somebody say soon. Soon. With this in mind, I, we're going to go to our next song. How many of you ready for the word? How many of you ready for the word of God? Our own illustrious pastor, Elder Herbert Perkett, will be bringing the word in just a moment. But we're going to call Sister Evelyn to come at this time as she comes with our final selection, praise and worship team. We're going to sing Waymaker. If you know that he is a Waymaker, say, I believe that he is a Waymaker. Matter of fact, I want you to change it and make it personal and say, He is my Waymaker. Somebody say, He is my Waymaker. If you believe it, say, Yes, He is. Yes, He is. As Minister Phil was saying, who knows that only God can make a way for you? God is our way maker. He is our way maker. Through the good and through the bad, he makes a way. He carves our past and our lives, and we give him all the glory. We give him all the honor. And I'm standing here only because you made a way. And I'm standing right here only because my gun made a And I'm standing here only because you made your mind. Say he's my way maker. Way maker. 
Come on, Evelyn, one more time. You never stop, you never stop working. 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 Come on, let's lift up a praise unto our God, who is a way maker. Come on, way maker, way maker. Father, we thank you, we bless you, we glorify you. Father, we exalt you. There is nobody like you because, God, through our dark times, our shallow times, our desperate times, Father, you have been right by our side. So, Father, we take this moment now to give you all the glory, all the praise. It all belongs to you. So, Father, we lift you up. We lift you up. We lift you up. We lift you up in praise. We lift you up, God. We glorify you. Come on, somebody, out of the fruit of your lips. Come on, out of the fruit of your lips. Abasha, you ain't gonna move. Come on, out of the fruit of your lips. From the depths of your soul. Abasha. So, Father, I pray, God, that you get the glory out of all that we say and do. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, he has done great things for me. Come on, he has. He has done great things for me. He has done great things. He has done great things for me. Oh, he has done great things for me. Come on, sing it out there like you know it. Oh, he has done great things for me. He has. He has done great things for me. He has. He has done great things. about this last year he has made a way he has way for me come on tell the lord i thank you he has made a way for me he has made a way for me he he has made a way I dare you to clap your hands and say he has brought, he has brought me out. All right. Come on, tell the devil. He has, he has brought me Think about it. One, two, three, four, five. He has. He has done great things for me. He has done great things. Oh, he has done great things. Lord, I feel it there on the inside. One more time. He has done. He has done great things. He has done great things. Oh, he has done great things for me. Come on, 
come on, look back over this last year and thank the Lord for doing great things for you that you know you could not have done it yourself. Come on, I'm waiting on somebody out there just typing that message by great things, great, great things, great things. Come on, it's shut up. Ah, great things, great things. I wish somebody in here shout great things. Great things, great things. Oh, my, my. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. Hallelujah. Y'all sit down. I, I, I feel the praise way down on the inside. Oh, my God. Amen. I think about this time last year. Amen. We were in a place of uncertainty, not knowing what life was going to be like. Folks was dying. Folks was getting sick. But look at us now. I feel a breakthrough coming right now in the name of Jesus. Can I tell you this? Praise is the order of the day. Come on. There should be a praise in your lips. Somebody just wave at the Lord and say, God, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Uh -huh. I see my sister-in-law back there waving her hand. Just about a month ago, she had a stroke, but I see her back there waving her hand. Somebody shout great things. I see my mother down here who had COVID last year. I see Sister Charlene over here who had COVID last year. Brother Allen who just got out the hospital. Somebody shout great things. He has done. Great thing for me. All right. All right. God bless you, everybody. We thank you. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you now, come on back next Sunday. Amen. Uh, Y'all come on back next Sunday. We're going to have a praise party in here for real on next Sunday because it's Resurrection Sunday. And can I tell you this? We're going to have a resurrection praise on next Sunday. I don't know about you, but there's resurrection right now. There's resurrection right now. I see my brother over here who has surgery and couldn't move for a couple of months, but he's able to move about with his limbs. All right. St. John, the 12th chapter, this is... Palm Sunday. This is Palm Sunday. I don't plan on being long today. I just want to put a word in your in your spirit. Amen. Just put a word in your spirit. I don't plan on being long. Amen. St. John, the 12th chapter. I talked about focused, purpose focused on last week. This week I want to talk about this week, this day on Palm Sunday. I want to talk about Palm uh, purpose challenged. Purpose challenged. Purpose challenged. Amen. St. John, the 12th chapter. Amen. So we're going to go to the scripture. St. John, the 12th chapter. And I'm going to start at the 12th verse. I'm going to go all over. St. John, the 12th chapter. On the next day, 12th verse. On the next day, much people that were come to the feast when they heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem took branches of palm trees and went forth to meet him and cried, Hosanna. Somebody say, oh, Hosanna. Blessed is the king of Israel 
that cometh in the name of the Lord. St. Matthew, the 21st chapter, the 8th through the 11th verse, same, just a different perspective, and a very great multitude spread their garments in the way. Others cut down branches from the trees and strawed them, thrown them in the way. And the multitudes that went before and that followed cried, saying, Hosanna, which means save now. Hosanna means save now. Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And when he was coming to Jerusalem, all the city was moved saying, who is this? And the multitude said, this is Jesus, the prophet of Galilee. Hosanna. Save now. I thought about this, and I thought about for those of you that are old enough to remember, amen, the rumble in the jungle. The year was 1974. Some of us, you young folks, don't even know what that is. That is the day that there was an old man, older man, named Muhammad Ali. He took to the country, or to the uh, country of Zaire to fight a young man who was at that time 40 and zero. He had won 36 fights by knockouts. He was a feared man, a big man that would come. Before there was a Mike Tyson, there was a George Foreman. He's a, a meek and humble man now because he done got saved. He's saved now and is a preacher. Thank God for salvation. Yeah. Some of y'all been some, some mean folks. Some mean folks. Amen. Didn't want nobody to look at you. Amen. And better not step on your shoes or cross in front of you in the car. Amen. But thank God for the gift of salvation. Because it calms that fire that's way down on the inside. Amen. George Foreman was a powerful and mean man, 40 and old. Amen. Muhammad Ali was a man that had, had been at the highest of the high. He was, those of you that remember, he used to have a phrase, uh, float like a butterfly. Sting like some of y'all remember. Amen. <laughs> Float like a, he was a he was a pretty man as he used to say he was a pretty man amen he was one that you could he, he could see your licks coming even before you thought about throwing them when you would go to throw them he would just move out the way but time had taken a man a toll on his body and so he had been a man by this fight he had he was thirty six and five. He had lost a few years. The thing about Muhammad Ali was that he was a person that knew how to uh, play the mind game. I'm going to get there in a second about how this applies to Palm Sunday. Just stick with me for just a few seconds. He was the one that knew how to inspire strangers. and uh, he, he instilled confidence in those that were around him because he knew how to talk to the masses. He was also a master at psychological warfare. Those of you that remember the rumble in the jungle, remember some of the fights that he had, amen, with Joe Frazier. He would tell Joe Frazier, you ugly, you ugly, and he would do different things, amen, so that it had a mental impact, amen, on his head. I'm talking about, amen, today, I'm talking about your purpose being challenged. Well, uh, on this day, amen, in the, in the hills, in the mountains of Zaire, amen, there was a fight. And, and as he came in, I remember watching that fight it was on ABC. I remember watching that fight, and I was a Muhammad Ali fan. And I remember watching that fight because Joe Foreman, George Foreman, was so big. And when he would hit, he would swing from the back heels of George, and he would swing and he would hit. And it looked like you could see that 
those swings going into people. I remember what he did to Ken Norton and how he took such a punishing loss to this man. Amen. And I said, oh, God, please don't let him, amen, don't let him beat him up too bad. But, amen, this man came up with something that we still talk about today. Muhammad Ali, he came up with something called the rope-a-dope. Uh, okay, I see some of y'all not know what I'm talking about. He talked about the rope of dope, and he would get him on the ropes, and he would, he would put his hands up, and he would just swing and swing and swing. I, I want you to know that, they, that that old man that had 36 wins and five losses, he had purpose. And I come here to tell you all today that some of you are missing out on the purpose because George Foreman, the George Foreman's of your life, got you on the ropes and you are trying to hide. You're not trying to fight. You're just trying to do anything to survive. But can I tell you this? There is victory on the way. That's the song they just sang. Victory. Come on, somebody shout victory. Come on, shout it in. I did just type, I got the victory. I got the victory. All right, well, uh, when he was fighting him, see, and this is the thing about the devil, amen, when, he's, when you're fighting for your life and you're fighting to do some things, uh, the devil is always talking to you. The devil is always trying to let you know, you, you know, you, you ain't got the victory. Amen. You're looking at your bank account, you know you, know you broke. You're looking at your refrigerator, you ain't got no food. You ain't got no vote. You ain't got no money in the bank. Some of you that don't have husbands, you, the devil telling you ain't got no man because you ugly and you ain't fine and the devil is a lie. You are a queen. You are beautiful. You are formed in the image of God and you are a beautiful creature. White, black, it don't matter who you are. Amen. Man, man, men. You think that you are God gives to women. No, that is a trick of the enemy. So, amen, Muhammad Ali, Muhammad Ali, as he was fighting, would tell him, is that all you got? As he was hitting him, is that all you got? Is that all you got? You don't have nothing else? Amen. And George Foreman said later on in a message, he said, you know what? By the sixth round, after hitting this man with everything that I got, I began to say to myself, maybe I don't have it. And it was around about the, t the sixth round, amen, the tenth round, that he had tired himself out today. Well, I've come here to let somebody know that you're going to meet your purpose on today. Yes, no matter what's going on in your life, amen, the devil can't stay up. The st he cannot keep up with you. Somebody give God a praise today and say, I got the victory. Hey, man, George Foreman, can you imagine can you imagine all the people that were there, amen, that were about 60,000 people, and they were saying, Ali Bomoye, Ali Bomoye, which means uh, Ali kill him, kill him for whatever reason. Ali Bomoye, kill him. And the devil is saying, amen, through your adversaries, kill her. Kill Shirley. Kill Phil. Take out Judy take out her mind. But the thing is, what the devil don't know is that he's giving you the victory to be an overcomer. You're not just an overcomer, but what the Bible say? The Bible says you're not just an overcomer, but you are more than an overcomer. I need somebody to shout, I got the victory on today. I got it. I got it. Amen. So even here, you remember if you read this, the 12th chapter of St. John. Jesus starts off, amen, I'm going to, even last week when I talked about he was focused going towards Jerusalem. He went through a Samaritan town, amen. There were people that challenged him, even his deity. They challenged him, but Jesus had purpose. He had purpose, which was to die. Jesus had purpose not only to die the horrific death that he died, but he had purpose to save me from my sin. Ah, see, that's the thing you ought to get excited about. Jesus had purpose because even over 2,000 years ago, as he hung there on the cross, he saw little old me and my sinful self, knowing that I would not have a right to stand in front of a holy God, but thank God for the blood. Come on, somebody say, thank God for the blood. 
Come on, there's somebody here to give God a praise. Come on, somebody, thank God for the blood. Come on, somebody, thank God for the blood. That was his purpose. His purpose was to come and die, and he had to go through this journey. So I want to say this to you, even in your journey, two things. Make sure that you surround yourself with people that understand what your purpose is. Amen. The Bible says that even as he made his way to Jerusalem, he would go into Jerusalem after he entered, but he would leave every night to go to Bethany. Because he would go to the house of Martha and Lazarus and Mary because they understood him. They knew who he was. Some of you are hanging around people that don't know what your purpose is. They don't know what your goal is. They don't know that you are called to preach a holy word. Can I look at that preacher out there that you are sitting on the sidelines and God doesn't call you the woman of God that you are. God done called you and you sitting on the sidelines because you surrounding yourself with people that don't understand you. I wish I had somebody to say, Lord, help me. So that's the first thing that he did. He would go to, he would go to the place where he had friends. Jump up to the ninth verse, 12 and 9. He said, much people of the Jews therefore knew he was there at Mary and Martha's house, and they came not for Jesus' sake, but they came that they might see Lazarus. They came might to see Lazarus also, whom he had raised from the dead. And can I tell you this, those of you that surround yourself with people that know you and understand you, but look at the next verse. He says in the 10th verse, but the chief priest consulted how they may put Lazarus to death. Uh, not only were they going to put Jesus to death, but they wanted to put back to death the man that raised him from the dead. Oh, God, I feel it in my spirit. Some of you out here, God has raised some things, has brought you out, and all the devil want to do is put you back in. You done got away from that, that, that spirit of poverty, and the devil want to put you back in. You done got away from that man, and all of a sudden he want to bring you another man that's going to put you back into the bondages of the old man. But the devil is a lie. Come on, somebody tell the devil. Uh, the devil is a lie. They wanted to put him back to death. Amen. Because that by reason of him, many of the Jews went away. So when you are walking in your purpose, look at this. They said, because that by reason of him, many of the Jews went away and believed on Jesus. Because they saw Lazarus raised from the dead. They saw the, the, the miracles that God was performing. They knew that they were in the presence of a holy man. Don't let the devil steal your joy. Don't let the devil take away your purpose. Don't let the devil challenge you. So, amen, they took branches as Jesus went to die. They took branches of palm trees and went forth to meet him. And they cried, Hosanna, blessed is the king of Israel who cometh in the name of of the Lord. Blessed is the king of Israel. They already had given him a title, but a, a title, but that title was not his yet. Understand this, he was the Passover lamb. He had to die. His purpose was challenged. That's where the purpose was. Now, if it had been me and you, if we were riding on that donkey, coming in and everybody singing our praises, our heads probably wouldn't got big. We wouldn't got, we, our heads would have got so big that we would have been filled with self. But Jesus, amen, they came forth to meet him and cried, Hosanna. Listen, you are the king. We've seen what you can do. And you can take down this Roman Empire right now. But Jesus knew what he had to do. He had to come to die for the sins of all mankind. Can I get you to type in your message bar? Thank God that he came and understood his purpose to die for me. He died for me. Come on, somebody. He died for me. I'm coming to a close. I don't have a lot of time. But I come here to let somebody know today, your purpose is always challenged. It's always challenged. 
Why is it challenged? Because the devil himself knows what your purpose is. He knows what you are called to do. I'm here to let you know today, keep your eyes on the prize. Keep your eyes on the prize. Know this, that God is yet your God. He is yet your God. He is yet your God. Don't be swayed by circumstances. Listen, in this year, this year, we had many deaths. We had many tribulations. Can I tell you this? There's going to be more. But always remember this. There should be a praise on the inside. I'm getting ready to go, but I want somebody in the depths of their soul we don't have palms here today, but I want you to get something in your hand. I'm going to give you a few moments, for those of you that are out here. I want you to get something in your hand. Get your Bible, get your purse, get your napkins, get your handkerchief, get something in your hand. And I want us to wave, give a wave offering to God. Give a wave offering to God. Because he has come to save us. And not save us later, but he's come to save us right now. Those of you that are out there, I want you to know this. That this praise break is for you. I want you to give God a praise offering, a wave. You may not have the palm in your hand, but get something in your hand. And just begin to wave. And just shout, Hosanna. Save us now. Hosanna. Save us now. Maybe you don't understand what I'm talking about. But some of you, your children are out there in the addiction of drugs. Come on, give them a praise. Hosanna. Save my children right now. Hosanna. Save my body. If you're going through pain, you're going through diabetes, addiction. Come on, somebody. Give them a praise offering. Give them a wave offering. And when you're doing it, know that God is going to bring you out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know what? I know that sometimes we give up the praise too quickly. We give it up too quickly. Come on, wave it up, wave it up. I believe it. If I came in right now and I gave you a million dollars, you would lose your mind with praise. If all of a sudden you felt no more pain, you will lose your mind with your praise. Come on, somebody, give them a wave offering. Huh. Come on, from the depths of your soul, give them a wave offering. Give them a wave offering. Give them a wave offering. If you believe that God is going to do it, even in this holy week right now, just begin to clap your hands and tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want to offer you Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Amen. He came to die for the sins of every single one of us. You too. No matter how low down and dirty you are, Jesus came to die for your sin. I want you to do this with me. I want you to make an eternal decision right now. Right now. Ask the Lord to come into your life. I want you to say this with me. If there's some naysayers around you, move. Tell them to get out your room. Get out the kitchen, the living room, the bedroom, wherever you are. Because you're about to make a lifetime decision. Not just a lifetime, but an eternal decision. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have what? Everlasting life. So from this moment, I want you to pray this prayer with me. Just pray, Father God, I am a sinner and I deserve to die. Father, forgive me of everything that
that I've done to be separated from your glory. Father, I pray now that you will make me yours as I make you my Lord and Savior. And Father, I pray that you will fill me with the gift of the Holy Ghost, that I may be yours eternally in Jesus' name. If you believe God for that, give God a hand. Praise everybody. <laughs> praise the Lord. 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 Come on, give God a hand. Praise. <laughs> praise the Lord. Yeah, there's yet a praise in the house on today. Come on, somebody give God a praise. Hallelujah. Give God a praise. I believe it, that somebody has made, given their life to the Lord. Hallelujah. Come. Come, let us adore him. Kneel down before him. Come on, help me sing this. Worship and a... Come on, somebody. Come. Come, let us adore him. Kneel down before him. Worship. Worship and adore. Come on, help me sing this, everybody. Emmanuel. Emmanuel, 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 Emmanuel. Come on, sing it with me, everybody. Emmanuel, Emmanuel. Come on, somebody, let's get a praise. Emmanuel, Emmanuel. He, the Lord is with us. Oh, Emmanuel. Come on, somebody, let's just worship him for a moment. Emmanuel. giving their life to the Lord right now. Come on, let's just worship.
have a brother that have come in off the street. Amen. I pray for you, sir. Just stand to your feet. Just stand to your feet. Father God, I pray for him. In the name of Jesus, you all point your hands to him. I pray, God, that you would give him the desires of his heart. If you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, let this be the day that you accept him into your life. Amen. It is purpose that you are here right now in the name of Jesus. Just lift your hands, sir, and just say, Lord, forgive me of all my sins. Forgive me, God, and make me yours. I belong to you. And fill me with your precious gift of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, I pray, and I give you all the glory. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. I thank God for you, man. I thank God for you, sir. Come here, brother. Let me just, let me fist bump with you. In Jesus' name, you have made the right decision to give your life to the Lord. In the name of Jesus. So I pray that God will give you direction. You can stay, come around. We're here all the time. Come around. I want to talk to you in a few minutes, okay? In Jesus' name. God bless you, everybody. We thank you. We thank you for this day. Come on back and see us next week. We're going to be back, and we're going to be giving God some praise. Thank God for one soul. 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 Shout out, Kofa. Thank God for a soul. In Jesus' name. All right. I want to invite you that are out there that are listening. Amen. Reach out to us. Amen. Call us at 773-287-0817. And leave us a message. Amen. Or you can reach out to our email, our email, I'm sorry, and just say, Pastor, I desire to have a closer walk with the Lord. Our email is new.mission50 at outlook.com. New.mission50 at outlook.com. Amen. If you want to just be a blessing to us, we thank God for you. If you just want to be a blessing to us, amen, there's ways to give. You can cash app us at NMT, dollar sign, I'm sorry, NMT50, amen, dollar sign, NMT50. You can sell us at new underscore mission at att.net, or you can just come on by and bring us a check. Or some money, it don't matter. We're going to use it for the glory of God. That is our purpose, is that all we do is for the glory of God. Thank you, everybody. We thank you. Thank you for my mom is here. Amen. My auntie is here. Amen. Thank God Ella Allen is here. Thank God for you, sir. Amen. Thank God Shirlene is here. All of you that are here today, I just thank God. Come on back next week. I'm telling you this. We're going to have a resurrection praise party on next week. I don't know about you. I need y'all to put some liniment in your, sh your knees. Your elbows, <laughs> whatever you need to make sure everything is moving smoothly, we're going to have a praise party on next week. Finally, as we go, amen. Uh, I, I encourage you, those of you that will, amen, to get the shots, the vaccine. Uh, I, I had my first shot, and uh, I'm fine. I had uh, a little shoulder pain, and that's what they said. So I encourage us as we get back to Amen. It is your choice, but I encourage you, amen, to get that uh, shot that may help you. Amen. And as you go, if you go, I want you to pray and ask God to get the glory out of even that, uh, those chemicals going in your body. Because I believe this, that God will make it all right. I serve a God who will make it all right. All right. God bless you, everybody. Coming back and see us next week. Always remember. Jesus, Jesus.
Always remember Jesus, Jesus. Always keep him on your mind. Father, I thank you and I bless you for this time of service. Father, get the glory out of all that we say. Father, those that are not understanding their purposes, their challenges, God, understand this, that their purposes is for your glory. So, God, I pray now that you will bless us now to stay focused on you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. What I say unto one, I say unto all, watch, pray, praise, and read your Bibles every day. God bless you, everybody.